Okay, brilliant. <laughs> and look at that, that's me sprinting. Oh! Why did I sprint there? Why did I fast forward there? Hello and welcome to another indie horror game. This time I'll be playing a game called Input 6, and if you want to play this for yourselves, you'll find the links and the details down below in the description as usual, okay? Now in this game, something's happened to a robotics company, and I think I've been hired to find out exactly what. I'm going to be looking at security footage of a now abandoned robot factory, and I'm going to see if I can determine exactly what happened to the company, what happened to the people that worked there, what happened to the robots. I might be able to figure it out and we might have fun along the way. If we do and you enjoy this video, leave this a like, leave your thoughts down below in the comments, alright? But let's begin Input 6. So I need to avoid malfunctioning robots by quickly switching input. I need to find five remotes, one on each input in each separate section of the facility. Oh, alright, so we've got a new record. Uh, to all TechAid Robotics employees, so TechAid Robotics, that's the company that I'm looking into. Dear employees, due to the recent events of the morning of April 18th, 1994, the management decided to close all companies' facilities until further notice. All workers will be compensated for non-working days. Thanks to the correctly conducted emergency evacuation procedures, all employees left the company's main building safely. Nobody was hurt. The reason for the alarm going off is not yet known. To ensure future work safety, the management decided to conduct an inspection of all the company's facilities by a specialised department under the sister company, Agrest Industries, which I might work for, maybe? Please remain calm and wait for further information on the reopening of the company. Sincerely, William J. Price, Christopher Someone, and Bradley Cooper, maybe? I don't know. Let's continue. Alright. That's one of the robot company's robots. Just standing there and staring at me. Good. <laughs> I'm glad it's over. Looking at that isn't actually going to provide anything anyway. Uh, right, change input. Input one, right. Okay. And I can look around. Better yet, I can, I can move. Interesting. Right, is that the framework for one of the robots? Am I a robot? Are the security cameras robots in this game? I guess that would kind of make sense. So hang on. Okay, we've got input two. Who is also mobile, by the looks of it. In some sort of conference room. Three is in an office. Four is in like a storage area. Five in much the same. But with spare robot parts. And six is kind of out of commission. <laughs> Back to one then. Right, we've got less than 15 minutes to find five of these remotes. Right. Where do I even begin? Um, let's see. Let's just sort of hug the right wall and see where this ends up. Okay. There's a doorway through there. I mean, do I want to go through there? Hang on. Oh, is that it? I think that was actually it. I think that was one of the remotes. So now I need to change input. Okay. So we can't go back as one? Oh, hello. Welcome back. <laughs> no, it skips one. That's interesting. I guess one's work is done. Okay, we've got a radio signal interference here. Bear with me. I'll tell you about this in a sec. What the fuck was that? Right. Okay, so before I even got to the main menu, this game gave me a few sort of like mini-game tutorials. That was one of the mini-games. Whoa! Okay. And that is one of the robots that I need to get away from. Did you hear those footsteps, though? Really sounded like one was running after me. Right, so here we are. Um, I, I don't know, are we going to find... Are we going to find a remote here? Oh, hang on. There's another one. Okay. Now we're on to input five. Back at the pile. Okay. Where? Whoa! You've changed. Your eyes are black now. Strange. Okay, back to back to input two in the conference room. Whoa! Wow. Okay. So if I go back to two. The maid's gone. 
switching out. Ooh, okay. Okay, I don't know if the mate was completely gone. My control was locked there, and I didn't like it. Oh, what's this? I don't like this either. Oh, no. Hang on. Right, okay. Yeah, that was just a timing thing. I think- Whoa! Okay, someone at reception I don't want to meet with. <laughs> uh, oh! There's got to be more than one of these malfunctioning robots, right? They're everywhere. And they seem to be teleporting everywhere as well. Okay. This way? What's this? Is that a bomb? Maybe that's what happened to this place. That's like C4 or dynamite or something, right? And toilets, here we go. Am I gonna find sanctuary in the toilets? Maybe a... Oh, did you hear her? Right. Right, let's see. I kinda wanna go back there. Right, we're back in the toilets. Yeah, but my control locked up. And I heard those footsteps. She's running after me. Videotape tracking error. Okay, with this one, I've got to keep the line within that bar. They're all very simplistic, and they all just use the left mouse button, so you can keep on playing as you're doing it, but... Oh, man. There's a, there's a lot to keep track of. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> and look at that. That's me sprinting. Oh! Why did I sprint there? Why did I fast forward there? Oh, okay, right, okay, uh, we might be down one input, which might be a problem. Ooh. Okay, five. 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 W where are you, five? They're, they're all in different areas, aren't they? So I guess they can't cross-contaminate? Six is gone again. Okay, two. Two can't move. Two's got a separate timer. Two is being forced through a conference room presentation, by the looks of it. And now we're back. As three. Okay, three. Ooh. I love and hate the sound effects for the running. Whoa. Okay, we've got to wait, I guess, ten seconds and then something's going to happen. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to go. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. Uh, we've got less than ten minutes to find the remaining remotes, though. There's a VHS tape. There's loads of tapes here, actually. Anything else? Anything of interest? Oh, nope. Uh, in a similar looking room, we've got... Uh, not a whole lot of anything. Oh, I think I got that wrong. I think getting them wrong just makes the game harder, so... Oh. So we have to put up with this now, do we? Wonderful. Right. Um, okay. It's gonna be harder to, to see... well, anything. This massive area. What? Oh, okay, it doesn't last forever. Uh, oh! <laughs> We're back in the conference room, but it looks like the presentation's over. All right, brilliant. Okay, I actually want to go back here because, right? Yeah, let's see. Right, come on. Is there a remote? Whoa! Is there a remote around here? What was that? Who was running right behind me? Is that something? No. Around here? Okay, we've got like a, a conveyor belt. We've got the various heads for the, the dolls, the robots. No remote though, just radio signal interference. Okay, just match the pattern and you're done, right. This is a giant area. Uh, whoa! That really gets me going, because I squeal every single time. Okay. That wasn't too bad. I feel like I'm just going to sort of go in circles. I've got to try and remember exactly where I've been with which character, which input, you know? Ah! Haha! -ha! Okay, brilliant! So, right, input three. Input three needs to find... It's remote. Do you think they're the maid robots that we're controlling? Just, you know, normal working ones, ones that haven't been malfunctioning? Ones that could be trusted? Maybe. 
Man, this is tough. These areas are giant and the remotes are actually quite hard to see. Then of course there's the robots. You need quick timing to evade them. Then there's all these minigames trying to impede you and man, yeah, there's this time pressure. I'm always under pressure. Oh boy. Just checking over the area. Having a little look around. I'm... Whoa, I don't know if I was seeing anything or not, to be honest. Oh, wow. She just keeps on degrading, doesn't she? Okay, three, are you safe? That's not a remote, unfortunately. Whoa! Okay, three's not safe. Three is definitely not safe. And I guess five isn't either. Right. Okay, this is... This is a massive, massive room. There's got to be something in here, right? There has to be. Okay, we can go up here? No? Okay, I guess we can't. I guess we're staying on this floor. Oh, alright. Okay, we're back in the canteen, just making sure there's absolutely nothing here. Can't go through the doors, can't open the cupboards. <sighs> but we can get chased. Right. Oh, what is this? Come on. Okay. I'm done with that bullshit. Is there nothing here? I what? What? What was that? What happened there? Five... Oh, five... Five is back where five started, next to the scrap pile. I haven't been disassembled, have I? Okay, we've, we've still got one working robot. One working security camera, it's three, but... Oh, I say working. <sighs> Come on. Come on, wait. What's that? Oh, new record added to archives. I honestly thought that was something else, but okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah, I thought that was a remote. That's interesting, okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, we're back here. This is, this is where we started, isn't it? As three? It is. Oh man, I haven't made any progress. Um, there's nothing down here. No, I... I'm just going in circles again, aren't I? There's got to be something somewhere. On a forklift? On a box? On a bollard? Okay, I managed to uh, get the pattern right. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. There's nothing here. No, I don't think so. We're back to this room. Right. Okay, five's up and about. Five. Come on, five. Not having too much luck with three, but with five, I feel like I'm going to find a remote. I feel like I'm going to find a remote pretty quickly, too. Let's go this way. I really hope I'm heading in the right direction. Okay, I see. I see boxes. I see a storage room. I see... I see a remote! Oh, no! No, I was right there! I was right there! Did I pick it up or not? Oh! I'm gonna have to wait. Then I'm gonna have to go back in that direction. I know where that is. I know where that is. I just need to find the one for three now. And I don't think it's gonna be around here, is it? Is this that, like, conveyor belt room? No, this is something else. Oh, man. Right. <sighs> this is tough. This is tough, and that's making it even tougher. Come on, come on. Oh, I was so close. I can't believe I didn't pick that up. It's like when she sees you, your controls pretty much lock up. It's hard to it's hard to explain. Oh dear. Through here. Right. We're going this way, we're, we're going this way, we're hoping there's not going to be anything there. Right, okay, back at five, back at five, five, I know where to go, five, I know where to go. Let's do this right. Let's not get caught out. <sighs> Three minutes, no pressure. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Look at that, I've got it, okay, now it's just... She's missing. She's gone. Input 6 is gone. It's 3 and 6 now. And 6 is now a black screen. Right, I've got about 2 minutes. 2, two and a half minutes to sort this out. 
Right. I've only got the one lifeline now, you know what I mean? Oh, shit. Where? Not here, not here. Not there. Ooh. Okay. We can't go upstairs, we can't go downstairs. We do have to remain on one level at a time, it seems. Oh, come on. Uh-oh, I can hear her. You know what this is reminding me of a little bit, actually? It's Five Nights at Freddy's. To an extent, anyway. There's a lot to keep track of as you're like, going between cameras, trying to stay alive. Here we are at the showers. There's nothing here. There's just a fucking video signal error. Okay, I think I did it. I think... Oh, God. I think I did it. Where the hell are we now? Oh. We okay? Okay, we're here. Right. Oh man. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this one. Oh! <sighs> We're back here at this fucking warehouse. There has to be something. Something here, right? <laughs> but where? This is such a big room. Where could it be? I've got about a minute to figure this out, otherwise, well, I don't know. I don't know what happens if I don't find them. Oh, man. This is the only active one now, so any remaining robots are going to be coming after this one. Okay. I thought I saw something there on the floor. There's no, there's no flashlight or anything here. I, I, I'm just seeing things now. I've got 30 seconds. 30 s Oh! Am I okay? Oh god, I won't be okay if I don't sort this out. I won't be able to see where I'm going. Okay. I just keep going around in the same place again and again and again and again, and it's just not working, is it? It's just not working. It's not there. It's not there. It's it's not here either. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this in four seconds. Time's out. Oh, nuts. Hey. Can I switch inputs? No. No, I can't. So... Game over, I guess. Okay, right. Um... Let's go back to the main menu. Yes, yes, I'm curious about this. Right, okay, archives. Ah, okay. And there's that disk. It seems like there's quite a few things to find here. Right, so we've got this hard disk drive found in one of the offices, protected with a password. Uh, a note stuck to the disk, first name, last name, no space in between. Oh, I don't know. We're going to need to find a little bit more, I suppose, to access the uh, the hard drive. But then maybe we can find out a little bit more. Maybe we can find out exactly where the remotes are kept. Huh. Yeah. Dunno. Let's try this again. But right, it's not just the remotes that I have to find. I need to find everything to build up this archive and find out what's really going on here. Okay, right, here we are. Unfortunately, yeah, we're starting again. Uh, I don't know if the remotes are going to be in the same spot. It would be nice if they were. Ah, here we go. There's one. Okay, brilliant. Now we're on to four. Right, so... Where is fours? It seems like they are hidden in different places. So, yeah, each time you play this, it's random. Hey, there you go. There's another one. Okay, so that's input four done. Oh, what's this? Okay, a new record added to the archives, and I found that in the security room, this CCTV room. Right. <sighs> I don't even know where the hell I am. Okay, we've got this office area. I haven't been around here yet. It feels like the remotes are in different locations, and you get access to different locations each time you play, and ugh, there's definitely different errors. I don't even know if I explored this last time. Where the hell are we? Wait. Is that one over there? Uh, no, it's not, but it's a new record added to the archives. Whoa! Okay, right, well, that's something. That's an extra little bit of information that I can go through. 
Ooh. Never been here before, but look at this. Another remote. Okay. All right. Okay. We just need to find two more if po Oh, come on. If possible. Well, one's out of commission. That's not good. Right. There's the toilets. I say the toilets. I think there's like two or three toilets. Either that or this door. Wait, there was a door there, wasn't there? So, unfortunately, that was another fail. I got four out of five, but I did manage to find a couple more things for the archive. We've got a newspaper, and we've also got this list. Now, the newspaper seems to talk about this robot that's fucking me up again and again. Uh, I think it's called Mayday. Yeah, Mayday or Mayday, I think. And uh, by the looks of it, down here, it has a very fancy security system installed. Yeah, so I think it's the security system that's being either overridden or is malfunctioning, okay? Also, down here, we've got the list. This is a list of employee attendants. We've got a lot of first names, but no last names, so that's not really going to help us with the password. Not yet, anyway. But, uh, right. Let's go back and let's try this again. Ah! Another record added to the archives. Interesting. Warranty. Let's see. Name, address, redacted. The ID number, TRM0312. Okay. After two months of daily operation, robotic assistance started to jitter for a few seconds at the beginning of each given task. On April the 14th, it stopped responding to commands altogether. We've got another one. Yesterday, April 13th, the robot came to the room where I was resting and out of nowhere started threatening me with a knife. I tried to turn it off, but apparently there's no way to do it. There's another one as well. Stupid robot ran onto road and was hit by a car. I demand full refund. These robots aren't working the way they're intended. Hey, there you go. There's another one for the archive. But I need to find just two more remotes for four and five. I've got about ten minutes to do it as well. This is looking good. <gasps> is that it? I think that's it. Oh. Hang on. Hang on. This is it! This is the last one! Okay! Now what happens? This is... Oh, this is input six! The timer's gone and now I'm in control of input six. Where's this? Another area. This place is massive, by the way, and it's a complete mindfuck. You go into certain areas and it seems like you come out of different areas. Like, I think you teleport between the toilets sometimes. It's very strange. I haven't seen any of this before. This is a completely new area. Okay. Let's see. Are we... Oh, okay, we're not going over to the stairs because we can't really change levels in this game, can we? Right, can we... Oh, that's the conveyor line down there. Right, I have been there as uh, input five, I think. Hang on. Oh. Okay, I'm starting the conveyor. Input. Oh shit. She's not happy to see me. Oh. Oh, come on. Couldn't you have fallen down? Hey. Oh! Of course. The TNT, the C4, the dynamite. We've been seeing bombs everywhere around this place. Wow. I'm okay. Or oh, input six is okay. And... Oh. Oh, a little bit of that scaffolding. Straight through her body. There you go. <sighs> so, was it just the one? Oh god, she's still coming. Please, end her. She's ended me so many times now. Okay. Is that it? Alright. I Okay, we're back in control. And it looks like she's down, and hopefully she's down for good. I think it was just the one that was, you know, assaulting me this entire time. That's crazy. Uh, right. 
Yeah, probably don't want to go that way or that way. Should we just head back? Should we get out of here? Is that what we need to do? This way. I can barely see where I'm going with this big crack. I... Oh, a new record. Oh. It was a set. It was a stage. That looked like a cell to me. Okay. This is going to be an interesting read in the archives. Oh, there's another one. In every section of this factory, there's been at least one bomb. And obviously one of them just went off. Power's going out? Oh, wow. There's bombs elsewhere, I take it. Uh-oh. Oh! And that was the end of Input 6. Okay, right. And we're just straight back to the main menu. That's actually quite good, because I want to have a look at archives right now. So, there's only a couple that I've missed. Um, I picked up the manual here. Okay, getting started with Mayday. All right, let's just have a little brief look through this. Okay, there you go. Why Mayday, right? Yeah, Mecha Electronic Autonomous Interactive Aid, yeah. All right, so work modes, sleep mode, alert mode, indicated by an orange or red glow. We often saw them with like red eyes and stuff. That's the security system, right, there you go. Charging the battery, right. Okay, I think... Yeah, that, that appears to be it. Right. Aftermath. That last one. What's going on here? Mayday, we have a problem. <laughs> Company without future. Catastrophe today. After unexpected closing of all tech aid robotics facilities a week ago on April 18th, after multiple explosions on the company's premises on the night of April 19th and 20th, during which fortunately no one was hurt, the people at the forefront of the businesses related to the incident were detained, our sources say. William J.P., Christopher G., and Bradley L. Oh, so it wasn't Bradley Cooper. They're now under arrest. It seems the history of the infamous company is even more complicated than we thought. On April 22nd, the investigation of the case was handed over to Trail of Evidence Private Detective Agency, known for its previous work with police in the most complicated cases of last year's. Right, I guess that's who I work for. Uh, the agency representatives declined to answer our questions. Which I suppose makes sense, because they don't know all the answers. We haven't found all the answers yet. There's still a few gaps in the archive. We can piece together a few things, perhaps, and uh, maybe we can make a couple of sort of stabs in the dark, a few guesses. Um, based on what I'm seeing now, it, it, it seems like they're detaining those three on suspicion of planting the bombs themselves, maybe trying to... I don't know. Maybe maybe it was an insurance scam. Uh, maybe they knew that Mayday was going to go a little bit awry. Maybe they knew that their maid robot had a security system that wasn't working correctly and it might end up hurting or killing people. They just wanted to get rid of it, get rid of the evidence in the process. Maybe it's something to do with either disgruntled workers, disgruntled customers, bombing the place, the terrorist attack. Honestly, there's a lot of potential possibilities. We haven't solved this mystery quite yet, but leave your thoughts, leave your theories down below in the comments. Here I am again then. I couldn't let sleeping dogs lie. This is now the day after everything you just saw, and I went back into the game to look for the remaining files in the archive, and I found them. So let's take a look, shall we? All right, so we've got this portrait here, a portrait of Tech Aid Robotics President William J. Price. The top left part has been burned. Two nameplates detached from frame. One with engraved William J. Price, other with William Graft. Okay, all right. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. So there's this photo as well. Let's take a look. This is a photo of William J. Price and Christopher Graft shaking hands. Behind them, there's a robotic assistant, Mayday. Next to them is Bradley Luca. Right, the photo's partially burned. And what about this one? Is this the reverse side? Yeah, okay, alright. What does that say? Something again. Like October 93, is it? Interesting, alright. Uh, what else? The manual, the warranty, the list, the ID card. The ID card's a new one. Alright. 
Andre Robinson, right. Maybe this is who I need to log in as, on the hard drive. Found next to the console from which the alert signal was sent. Ah, okay. Interesting. And that's it? That's it. Okay. Right, so, now what we need to do is get inside this disc. It's going to be someone's first name and their last name. Is it going to be Andre Robinson? Let's see. No. No, it's not. Okay, right. We're going to have to do some digging. We're going to have to try maybe the employee list. I don't know. Ah, oh, it's Emily Doll. It's em right. It's Emily Doll. Okay, so hang on. Uh, if we if we come out of this and we go to the list uh, on the third page, there's Emily half written down, but it's been scratched away. It's been crossed off. I knew I saw an Emily before. Uh, it's in the newspaper, I believe. So let's see. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here we are. Tech Aid Robotics representative Emily Dole told us the video recording system was designed to identify possible errors during Mayday's operation. Emily Dole, there you go. That took me a long time to figure out. But there you go. Okay, now we have access to the disc. So, okay, it looks like there's six items here. Let's see. Let's let's start with this. Text final. All right. Good day, everyone. My name is William J. Price, and it's my pleasure to welcome you to Tech Aid Robotics. It is here in this factory where every single day the acclaimed personal robotic assistants Mayday are created. But what does this process look like, you may ask? Well, let's take a glimpse and see how our groundbreaking invention is made. Mayday is made out of complex mechanical and electronic components, every single one designed specifically for our robotic assistant by our brilliant engineers. Each metal part machined in our factory, each electronic component precisely prepared by experienced technicians, each plastic part carefully hand-painted by talented artists. After assembly, robotic assistants are packaged and wait in our warehouse until ordered. Believe it or not, every week up to a hundred robotic assistants leave our doors and make their way to their new homes, to our satisfied customers. The primary function of Mayday is helping you with everyday tasks. It can help in cleaning your house, bring you requested items or food, even be a great conversation companion. All this, and even more, surely will forever improve your daily routine. The voice recognition system might seem a bit overwhelming at first, unsettling even, but fret not, it's completely safe and secure. We do not collect any user's data other than video recordings, which help with your safety and ease during eventual very infrequent inaccuracies during Mayday's operation. Moreover, all of our robotic assistants are equipped with revolutionary security systems, developed in collaboration with our friends at Aggressed Industries. After receiving urgent information regarding potential emergency events from verified and trusted sources, adequate signals will be immediately sent to your Mayday using invisible radio wave network. Ah. After receiving such a signal, the robotic assistant will perform the necessary actions to ensure your safety. Right, okay. That could be manipulated though, right? Thank you for coming with us on this little journey. Thanks to your trust in our vision, we can bring you the best technological advancements, making ordinary people's lives safer than ever before. Right, okay. So let's see, there's also a couple of toy mock-ups. Oh wow, okay. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, let's let's not see them hitting the shelves anytime soon. Okay. What else have we got? The colour? Right, okay. Yeah, pretty true to life. What's this? Alright. Good day, everyone. Oh. My name is William J. Price, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Tech Age Robotics. Oh, this is what we just read. Tech Age Robotics. Save your future, not the people of today. Alright, well, there you go. Yeah, just a, a, a voice file of what we just read earlier, I suppose. Right, finally, there is this. What's this? Good day, everyone. My name is William J. Price, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Decade Robotics. Uh, 
It's a real shame we can't hear this. Of course, uh, if there is a need for a business meeting, then please, uh, I will prepare the presentation and we And that's where it ends. So there you go. He's lying about what he's really getting up to. Hmm. All right. Okay. Now that I've found all the archives, we've now got access to this database. Ah, okay. Oh, what's this? Uh, the key William J. Price cannot be found. I need to... Oh, I need to enter a valid key for this, do I? Oh, Christopher Gruff. That works. Okay. So, in 1968, Christopher Kraft and his brother founded a small company, TechAid Innovations, focused on designing technological solutions for medical facilities. The need to expand created a dispute between the brothers, whose visions for the company future differed greatly. In November 1970, the brothers came to a decision to shut down the company and go their separate ways. Christopher started investing in small businesses. Soon he met well-known investor Bradley Luca and joined his conglomerate, Luca Innovations. As their collaboration progressed, Christopher became the director of Aggressed Industries, the Luca Innovation subsidiary focused around specialized private security and production of military equipment. Ah. Christopher was one of the prominent figures next to William J. Price and Bradley Luca during the TechAid Robotics announcement event on September the 9th, 1993. Okay, so Bradley now. Bradley comes from a family of traders. He inherited wealth from his parents. In 1981, he found, or he founded an investment company, Luca Innovations. Over time, the company changed its focus from investing to buying out small startup businesses. His company got infamous after many public accusations regarding working conditions getting significantly worse in businesses after the acquisitions, notable payment cuts without any known cause, closing businesses without previous notice, Several former employees sued him with no avail. Due to poor management, most of Luca Innovation's subsidiaries were not self-sustainable. To save his business from bankruptcy, all but two companies were sold. Currently, the family of companies consists of Agrest Industries and Tech Aid Robotics. Right. So that's Bradley, that's Christopher. What about William? Again, it's going to be a first name, last name thing. I assume it isn't William Price. No. Ah, there you go. It's William Graff, not William J. Price. Right. 
Right after graduating from university in 1968, William Graft and his brother founded a small company, TechAid Innovations, focused on designing technological advancements for medical facilities. Right, we've read this bit before. Let's see. Ah, to continue his work in the field and not be associated with his brother, William changed his name to William J. Price. He started working on an undisclosed private project. After a while, he reconnected with his brother, hoping for help in finding investors. His brother connected him with Bradley Luca. In July 1992, Luca Innovations bought Williams Project, which became the core of, new, of the newly founded branch of Luca Innovations, TechAid Robotics, led by William. In September 1993, during the public event announcing the comeback of TechAid brand, Williams Project was unveiled to be the personal robotic assistant, now called Mayday. Mayday was released to the market on January 3rd, 1994, and the rest is history. And the rest now lies in ruins. So there you go. That's everything in the archives. That's everything in the database, right? Wrong. I think there's one more thing left to find. One more thing I have to add to the archive. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to complete the game again to get it, though. Wish me luck. Hey, there we go. We're back on input six. Right, this is where I'm going to find that last file for the archive. Once again, she's been shut down. Here's her head, here's her body, and this is the final item. Huh. Hey, uh, do you know if they found a video cassette at the site of the first explosion? Don't know. But if they did, then it probably hasn't been cataloged yet. Ooh, rejecting the tape, okay. Oh, look at this. I bet he did. I am so glad there's subtitles in this game, because without them, I wouldn't be able to pick up what they were saying there. But there you go. I think that means we found absolutely everything in Input 6. 100%, right? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think I found all the tapes, all the remotes, all the files in the archives. Uh, we sorted out the database. I think I'm done. Or at least, I hope I'm done. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed playing this game. It was fun. It was uh, it was a big challenge. It was really challenging at times, but a fun challenge. But I think I'm done getting chased by robots. I never really want to play this game again. Hopefully, that was everything. Hopefully, I can say thank you very much for watching Input 6. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a like. Maybe even give me a subscribe. Leave your thoughts, your theories down below in the comments, and I hope to see you back in another video very soon. See you then. William J. Price, 
Christopher someone and Bradley Cooper, maybe? What the fuck was that? This game gave me a few sort of like mini game tutorials. That was one of the mini games. Whoa, okay. Well, whoa. You've changed. Your eyes are black now. Yeah, that was just a timing thing. I think, whoa, okay, someone at reception I don't want to meet with. <laughs> uh, oh, there's gotta be more than one of these malfunctioning robots, right? They're everywhere. And look at that, that's me sprinting. Oh, why did I sprint there? Why did I fast forward there? Two's got a separate timer. Two is being forced through a conference room presentation by the looks of it. Okay, three. Ooh. I love and hate the sound effects. This is a giant area. Uh, whoa. That really gets me going because I squeal every single time. Ah! Haha! -ha! Okay, brilliant! I'm. Whoa. I don't know if I was seeing anything or not, to be honest. Oh, wow. I haven't been disassembled, have I? I see a remote! Oh, no! No, I was right there! I was right there! Did I pick it up or not? Oh! Ah, I, I'm just seeing things now. I've got 30 seconds. 30 se oh! I don't even know if I explored this last time. Where the hell are we? <gasps> is that it? This is it. This is the last one. Okay. Now what happens? Input. Oh, shit. She's not happy to see me. Oh, come on. Can you have fallen down? Hey. Oh! Uh oh 